Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James and today we're going to be doing an easy pirate ship build. I just want to say thank you very much for all the kind words on the last build guide. Uh, it went so well I thought I'd bring you another. Now this guide is going to be based on official rates and a structure limit on the wooden raft is 88. So this build's going to leave you five slots over to put some beds and uh, smithies or whatever else it is you need to put on. And this way we're not using any mods or anybody can do this build. So right, let's get started. Now um, the first trick I'm going to show you is how to easily drop the foundations down to the level of the raft. Uh, I'm going to use the mast as a guide and put one post here and then one post at the end and I'm just going to try and find the middle because I want to make this two in width so let's pick these two posts up now I know you can do this using ceilings and pillars but this is much easier trust me on this one and if we just put a pillow on the end here yeah you do have to eyeball it but there you go we've got a new snap point for our foundation and we can pick these back up like I say now they've integrated S plus you've got 30 seconds to pick these up and you don't end up wasting your materials let's hide the sail you just do that with the rudder and we can put some more foundations down now if you use your single player settings you can ex increase your structure limit there is also mods to do that, but I want to do a simple build that can anybody can do. Okay, so we've gone three backwards, but right now, in order to increase these foundations, we're going to need to put a ceiling, and then we can clip underneath another foundation. But from here, we can only go out three. So I'm going to take this out, another two foundations. So like I say, if you do increase the structure limits, you can change this and you can make it even wider. On my current playthrough, I think I made mine three wide instead of two wide, but I figured we'd make it a little bit smaller. Okay, just need to go back and we'll grab some windows. So for those of you that have been following the uh, channel, you'll know that we're doing the Complete the Ark series and we've gone back to the island and uh, last week we fought the Broodmother on the Alpha settings and uh, as some of you are probably aware it does take quite a long time to farm up some of the stuff we're going to need to build the tech stuff and I'm still gathering lots of hide so I just wanted to put another guide out there just to put something else out during the week and I hope to be fighting the Megapithecus by the end of the week and uh, we'll be continuing that on so if you haven't seen that uh, series yet go and check that out It'd be greatly appreciated and it seems that I've bought triangular ceilings and we need triangle foundations in fact we need three of them so um, can I craft them have I got enough wood on me um, we need three of these I will put a list of what we need to build the raft up at the start if I haven't if you haven't already seen that so you can was that if you need to gather the materials but yeah I figured we'd just try and do this as a build along again and I'll try and get it done as quickly as we can okay so that's one there again we're going to use the ceilings to stick the foundations underneath at the correct position and there's quite a few tricks to sinking the foundations but I just found a pillar in the fence post an easy one for the raft because it brings it down straight down to the level I want it to be Okay, so we've just angled that off using the foundations. Yep, that's correct. Okay, and I did forget to grab my walls, so we'll go back and uh, grab some more of them. So, yep, also we'll be expecting the release of the Genesis content on the 28th, but uh, I did check in last night just to see whether there was any news on it coming out on time and they haven't said anything yet. I am expecting a little bit of delay on that, so but we will be covering 
that. We have got a server, we're going to be ready to go for the Genesis release and I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But as of yet, mm, nothing new. Let's say it's only, a, it's only a simple quick build this one. And if you wanted to build something bigger then you can always use the motorboat. That's got, uh, I think it's, a, is it 138 slots you can use. So there's a lot more you can do and it's much quicker. These rafts can get knocked by the Lethictus, so no, not something you want happening. Um, but if you use the motorboats, that won't happen. window there. There's three at the front. Some food. One, two, three. Our ceilings. Okay. So let's get these two above so it's straight and then we can get these all coming off straight as well. Sometimes you can see the clipping angles are a little bit more awkward when you've got so many ceilings together but uh, there we go there's the clipping point and one more okay and we've got to make room for a hatch which will be going there so let's just put a ceiling here on here and one more here and we need a wall and a door frame as well. And yep. Perfect. We also need to get a hatch as well. So a hatch and door frame. But um yep, so you guys, like I say, you guys enjoyed the last build video we did when we built these two little starter homes. And I quite often use the boat as a starter. Of course you can't be using it on scorched earth or there's not really much point in using the raft on scorched earth. But um, on most other maps this is something I do very early game. Just gives you a more mobile base and um, I quite often gather all my materials and then set sail to look for my actual base place because otherwise you end up building your main base in a, in a starter area and quite often that can be away from materials that you need to gather so um, it's very rare on day one I find the place that I want to set up my base I kind of take my time and look around the map so that's one of the reasons um, I build the raft and uh, then I don't feel like I've wasted a lot of materials and I'm having to leave it as a, a second base. Okay. So, right, let's get the left and right sort of tail part on. And I forgot the door frame, didn't I? I have to craft one of them. Never mind, we'll get the hatch up next ladder. And so it's difficult when you are restricted to 88 pieces so but let's say you're still gonna have five left over to be able to um, put down some essential tools and you could slightly adjust this. Um, I've just put the sails on top here and the masts just to give it a little bit more character but uh, with an increased limit we could do a lot more with this. Uh, I just want to make a guide that would be relevant to anyone even if you are going on official. Okay, let's just get the railings around the outside. So there's enough room on here to fit a flyer, an RG or something and being that we can craft the cryopods right from the start now it's not so much necessary to be able to load up a land mount dino you can pretty much carry them around in your pocket so it's less relevant now to to make your raft for transporting dinos so this is just for a bit of fun 
Now I've just placed a fence foundation in the middle there. I'm going to do that again because otherwise you can't get the pillars into the middle. They're going to clip elsewhere. So we'll put one here. You'll we'll see we can bring it into the middle now. We'll take this up too. And this one's going to go three high. And it'll be a ceiling that we want on top there. Oh, no. Mark, what are you doing? Pick up ceiling. Uh, and no, again, we'll have to do it Minecraft style. We will jump. And there. So. And we need a couple of ladders. And this is going to act as our mast. At least this gives you a sort of basic idea to go from. And like I say, dropping the foundations down onto the raft really does make a difference. And you could go three or four wide if you wished, but um, we're trying it as a, a two wide, which would also be big enough to put a dinosaur gate on at the back as well if you wanted to do something slightly different with the back. But uh, we are just restricted to 88 pieces on this build so now we've got to get our flags lined up um, I like to place them and then use my camera to twist them I find that a little bit easier okay and we need four up here again I'm just eyeballing this and you know I'm sure if you painted on here, perhaps put the old skull and bones on here and painted the ship, it'll again will stand out a lot more. Okay, so we need a ceiling on here, a catwalk on each side, and I think I'll be able to place the flags from up here. Should be able to. Just get one in the middle of the catwalk. Twist it just so it's facing the right direction. Again, a lot of eyeballing on this one. But I think it's just to give you some ideas or inspire you. You could certainly go in a lot of different directions from the base here or even making the base a little bit wider. So let's get our last one. I'm gonna to have to put that there and then sort of twist it round like so. Okay. So what are we missing? We're still missing the door. Yep. And we also need some ramps on the back. I always like to have some ramps on the back because if you end up in the water and there's a shark and that is a lot easier to just get onto your raft if you put some ramps at the back so one thing I do like to do uh, we missed okay um, let's grab we need some more fence posts and we can yeah grab some of the items that we put on as well cooking pot and there's the ramps we only need two of those and Yeah, it's starting to come together now. Okay, let's put the ramps on. So one, and a two. Doesn't look like much, but when it is out in the water, it makes it much easier to get on here. And did I not pick a door up? Sure, I. I'm sure I made one. I've probably left it over here. Hang on, I'll just try and see if I can craft one quickly. Some wood. A little bit more dead wood over here. That should be enough to make a door. Uh, wood. Um, there we are. Door. Make one of those. And I think we're getting there, guys. Okay. Yep, that's the right way around. 
And lastly, we put the things we need on. We'll put a preserving bin on, that's always handy, especially if you're doing some fishing from the boat. Mortal and pestle. Of course, we need a bed. And a cooking pot. Should probably put a forge and a smithy on as well. I think I crafted them over. You can make adjustments to this. Like I say, if you find you need a couple of extra items on your boat, you can always take off a couple of them sails. Or adjust the outside of the boat as well. I'm going to put some more walls on the lower foundations just to cover that up. And a mortar pestle, we always need one of those. Quite often use that as a storage unit as well, the mortar and pestle, as well as the smithy. And we needed to put some wooden fences up here, just to give this the crow's nest sort of effect. Can we make it jumping over here? We can. And did I put three? Yeah, it was six. That I used on the top, so... Oops. Yeah, here we go. Let's take it out for, for a little spin. Got the idea. And there we go. Our little mini pirate ship in our chilled build-along. So... Let me know down in the comments uh, if you're enjoying these little build-alongs. I know everybody seemed to respond really positive to the starter home build that I did. And um, I think this is a, another early build that you can do. Like I say, I've quite often done myself a pirate ship. And uh, I just don't settle for a little square raft. So um, but you could certainly paint this up and uh, make it a make it stand out a lot more and uh, I've just forgotten to put the walls on the outside here so we need to go and grab them just missing some of the things that I've put on the first boat again this is another way you could add a few more pieces onto your structure limit as you see around here we can just see the foundations and it started raining so I'll just get some more have I got them on me and more walls I must have put them back in the storage unit over here. I should have built a storage unit, unit a little bit uh, closer to the boats, but hey, we're almost done now, we're almost done. And uh, I think this build guide's gonna come in in under 20 minutes. I think, I feel I've done this quite quick. Right, um, about 20 of them. Like I say, I will put the numbers you need for the exact amounts at the start of the video so you can pause it and uh, just get the materials together. And let's like say there's room for adjustments if you don't put these pieces on the outside, but I think it looks a little more complete if we carry on with the walls down to the bottom here. Ooh, that one just failed. There we go. to do with them too because they're the corner triangle foundations just need to get a couple more on here and don't think yeah it won't let me can I get in there nope I'm just gonna have to adjust the boat let's bring the boat a little bit away from the shore and I'll be able to get these last two walls on There we go. One, two. Uh, oh, I already done that one. Okay, so that's all the time we've got for that one. Another build guide complete. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments uh, if you enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more guides and helpful tips within ARC. And uh, also go and check out my complete series that we're doing at the moment. But uh, yep, this is the pirate ship build. And like I say, this is not excluded. Anybody can do this one. And if you want to do something a little bit bigger and, and, and elaborate and you are 
playing on single player settings just go into saddle structure limits and increase that amount and you'll be able to put more down than the 88 that's default on official but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you